So one thing that series are good for are finding uh, polynomial approximations to certain functions. That turns out to be super, super, super useful. Um, we're going to kind of uh, keep it on the easy level here, and we're just going to talk about finding linear approximations. And this is actually just old uh, first semester calculus stuff. They'll have you find the equation of a tangent line or a linearization. That's all we're doing at this case. So I'm going to go through these a little bit, a little bit faster. So we're just finding the equation of a line is all we're doing. Um, so recall the slope comes from the derivative. Um, so let's see, our function f of x, that's 2 to the x. The derivative of 2 to the x is 2 to the x times the natural logarithm of 2. To get the slope of our tangent line, we just plug in whatever x-coordinate we're interested in, which in this case is 3. So we'll have 2 to the third times the natural logarithm of 2. 2 to the third is 8. So, well, we're, late, we're left with 8 times the natural logarithm of 2. Notice if we plug two in, or excuse me, 3 into our original function to get the corresponding y value, we would get 2 to the third, and 2 to the third is just 8. So it says we would have y minus our y coordinate. Well, again, if we plug in 3, the y value we get is 8. The slope of the tangent line is 8 times the natural logarithm of 2. And then we just take x minus the x-coordinate, which uh, was given to us as 3. And now this is going to be our linearization. So if we distribute out on the right side, we would have 8 times the natural logarithm of 2 times x. We would get a negative 24 times the natural logarithm of 2. Then we could add our positive 8 over. And again, this is now this would now be our linearization.